brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. So I'm 60. I'm a nurse. My husband's 69. He's retired. And he, I guess, retirement and, you know, running around and, and uh, you know, living the life, which he should after, you know, 40 years in the oil field. He got into gambling. And so he'd, oh, you know, run no. up to Oklahoma and do some gambling and all this. So How bad is uh, it? Last, right. So last August, um, I really got involved with uh, the Ramsey stuff. And I thought, wow, this is pretty impressive. And so I got uh, his book, you know, The Financial Freedom. And then I also got uh, Dr. Deloney's book of uh, The Non-Anxious Life. Because he was stressed about, you know, retired and all that and kind of running around. Didn't really know what to do after being such a workaholic. And so since then, he's gotten help for the gambling. He's really, he stopped. I mean, it's like it was a phase. But that phase left us about $150,000 in debt. What kind of debt? uh, Credit cards? Well, credit cards, yes. Uh, Good. Credit cards. God almighty. And I know. and, uh, And he was, you know really embarrassed and how i found out about this i mean i have a few credit cards and i'll use them you know go to work get gas you know you know whatever pay them off whatever and so he's always had his own credit cards business credit cards and so forth and i never and i know it sounds irresponsible because he's so responsible never paid never paid attention and never been a problem before you know this so I got the financial freedom book and I was going through everything and I was like, okay, let's lay everything out. And he very shamefacedly produced these bills. And I did your heart stop Liz. Well, um, I'm an ER nurse, so it takes a lot to stop that. But I was, I was, uh, put on pause pretty, pretty good. And, uh, I was like, wow, babe. And he's like, I know. So got him some help for that. Um, you know, he's doing other things now, got involved in hobbies and so forth. So that's, it's not a problem anymore. Do you still have but, open, you still have open revolving accounts at your home? Right. No, uh, no. So do you? Do we have what now, sir? Do you still have open revolving accounts at your home? What does that mean? Do y'all still have access to credit in your home? Oh, no, no. That's a, well, that's the first thing we did was set up the credit card. Okay. All right. Yeah, what is your minimum not. payment on these cards altogether? Altogether, I would say probably $4,000 a month. What do you guys bring home every month? About 7500 Are you able to eat right now? What are your other expenses? <laughs> well, we actually don't have any. Our property's paid for, land, house. Where is he working right now? Vehicles. Uh, he's not. Yeah, his butt needs to go back to work tomorrow. As, and this is part of his getting well, because he's not, you don't just flip a $140,000 gambling hole switch like this. Yeah. He needs to go well, back to work tomorrow. Um, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. 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 We've already had that talk, and he's got some resumes out. You know, I, I'm talking to go to Starbucks. Now. I would right. love to have a 70 year old Oklahoman oil field worker making my latte for me. That'd be amazing. <laughs> But he has to, he, listen, what? he's he going to, he is going to yep. bathe. He is going to bathe in shame if he is not a participant in helping make this home whole again. Right. And right. he can have he, all the conversations, but you got to, right. you're, you're thinking of selling. What are you thinking of selling? Well, we actually sold a car already, okay. uh, sold a, a little car and got that and put that immediately onto a credit card. Okay. We've paid off two. We've paid off two. Okay. And there are uh, seven more to go. Okay. And uh, that's, that's well, that's going well. So we have uh, assets. Um, we probably have 130 in a 401k. We no. Have, go to the next one. <laughs> No, no, I'm just, I'm just laying it out. Oh, okay. So we all have right. 130 in a 401k, and then the rest of the investments all together, Fidelity and Vanguard and what have you, total up to about 350, almost 400 actually. It's like 380 something. But that's your total nest um, egg. Well, it, yeah, that was our total nest egg, and then we also own land, uh, 
quite a bit of high dollar land and which we don't want to sell. So what does, been, what does quite a know, bit of just, high dollar land mean? How much? Well, north of Houston, it's, uh, you know, Houston's moving up that way. So we have our homestead, which is, you know, about seven acres with the home on it. And then we have land across also in the same little town that's uh, about three and a half acres. Altogether, that whole holding is worth about a million dollars. I would sell that three acres of land. Mm -hmm, And I know you don't want to. But I I can't tell from your voice, Liz. I've talked to a lot of people over the years who are with folks in this very similar situation that they found out that their spouse has massive, massive amounts of debt, whether it's gambling or otherwise. I don't know Mm -hmm. if your years as an ER nurse have... I've been around some some trauma trauma medical providers who are basically like walking Xanaxes. Nothing rattles them anymore, and that may be you, or if you are well, simmering. Well, no Xanax on board, but just super super patient, and the fact that you know we've made good headway and the gambling stopped. And I and, I, I can't uh, I don't uh, think I'm wondering if you fully metabolized how bad this is. We call it financial it, infidelity. Probably not. Do you know what the interest yeah, rate is on not. these cards? Yes, the uh, cash advances alone are like 30%. Oh, my God. So, listen, part of the hole that was dug is going to be rectified with part of your dream that y'all had. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a cost to this. Right. And either he goes to work tomorrow and says, I can make 50000 bucks over the next three years, and 100% of that goes to paying this off, and I was going to be retired from 70, 71, 72, 73, and now I'm not? Or part of your million dollar retirement, your land holding is gonna go to, to, to dig this, dig yourself out of this shovel. There is no way that your life doesn't look different. Y'all are trying to just nickel and dime this sucker. It's not gonna work it's when you have 5,000 in interest alone happening each month. Wow. So you gotta get rid of this. You gotta sell these acres. I don't want you decimating this nest egg and unplugging all this growth because there's not much there to begin with to get you to live for Do the next 30 years. Do not sell your investments, yeah. So I would sell the land first. I'm so sorry. Create your free every dollar budget today. The simplest way to budget for your life.